If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, does alexithymia affect the treatment of PTSD social anxiety and MBD? To start with, the general idea of PTSD is someone typically starting out as a normal and a horrible calamity flatlines their emotions as a coping mechanism. Depression is similar if it's not on the bipolar spectrum. Social anxiety is fear-based, which ironically is an emotion. They are mentally shifting to the camera too of other people and judging yourself through their eyes. Aspies don't do that. Basically, alexithymia is best seen as an aspect of Asperger's where there is emotional retardation because of genetic factors. It also shows up in traumatic brain injuries, TBI, stroke, and certain diseases. Notice these are organic in nature. There is a developed form of it from childhood abuse, especially repeated sexual abuse. Many times that can shift into dissociative identity disorder, DID, where mentally different aspects of the child develop different personalities and one or more of those. Having learned to completely shut off emotions, other aspects under certain conditions can have them. So with the three characteristics you've identified, alexithymia would be a misnomer. It was not legitimized in the DSM-4 or 5. People learning to shut off emotions or manipulate them are prevalent in a number of other psychological diagnoses. Under different nomenclatures, the instrument that is most often used to measure alexithymia is the 20-item Toronto Alexithymia Scale, TODS 20, a self-report questionnaire. It's a list of 20 indicators that patients answer on a 5-point Likert type scale, ranging from strongly to disagree to strongly agree. Thanks for the A to A by Jen. Find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.